Welcome back to Painting Trafalgar. I'm just uh, working on my ship model and I thought I'd show it off. This is the 74 gun ship model that I've been building. And it's made out of paper mache. Look at the hull. See how lumpy it is? Like it looks like stucco. And that's because the hull's made out of paper mache. <laughs> and then I painted it and added cardboard decks. Um, but then I've been rigging it and it's starting to come into its own now. Now it's starting to look like a ship model. The sails, I always want to make the sails look like they're full of air. And so, to, in this case, I took a piece of paper and I just cut slits in it. And then, like a dressmaker, using darts, I, like, this was a slash. I put glue on one side, and then I overlapped where the cut was and glued it. But it doesn't go all the way up. Like you can see where the slash starts. And in doing, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six of these or seven, I got this, uh, I mean, admittedly lumpy, but uh, it's workably the proper shape of a, sh of a sail that's full of wind. And uh, I could have just had a square, flat piece of paper. But the whole point of these models is I really want them to be models for photography, for the painting. Okay, to serve the need of the painting, I want the sails to catch the light, like this one is right now. Like if that was a flat surface, you wouldn't get the chiaroscuro of light to dark across the surface. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just like happy building ship models. So this is a nice excuse to have, um, like I'll have this object in my apartment now. I'll be able to not only use it as a prop in my paintings, but it's just going to look nice in my apartment. It's just, uh, you know, I think everybody should have ship models in their lives. I think they sh every mantelpiece without a ship model on it is kind of a crime a little bit. <laughs> But I'm biased. Look who I am, right? I'm the guy who's making this series of videos about my my interest in, in pursuit of the Battle of Trafalgar. So building the model, um, in an earlier episode of this, I was talking about how to understand the frigate, you had to, you know, really crawl inside the frigate in your mind. And building the model does the same thing. Like, I knew what a 74 looked like, and I had books available where I could look at images of the 74 gun ships to, you know, my satisfaction. But to be able to paint them later, um, I want to have a feeling for them, you know? Like, if I have to get up in the middle of the night in my apartment, I can walk through my apartment in the, in the dark because I just know it really well. And I don't know this 74 that well but i know it a lot better now for having spent all my free time working on it so while i'm building the model i have to think well how big is is the top this part here is called the top top um compared to other aspects of the ship and pursuing each detail like that and trying to get it right and looking at the source material cements all of that in your brain in a way that i don't know like maybe if you were like locked in a prison cell with no window and just a book about a 74 gun ship you're gonna certainly going to look at that book but without that kind of an extreme experience um building a three-dimensional model and then you know physically building it from beginning to end by the time you finish the prospect the project you now have you know, I have the built model here, but I also have it in my head now. So if you did, you know, stick me in that empty cell without a window in a sketchbook and nothing else in a pencil, I could draw the 74 gunship from memory pretty well now because I really have a pretty good grasp of its physical um, proportions and, and what makes it different from um, other ships that I know and... Where am I going with that? I think it's get, it's going to make me a better painter of it because like I'll have all this subconscious knowledge that I'm not even aware that I know of when I when I do the paintings. And as I'm talking, I'm flipping this around so you can see for yourself how 
you can imagine that if this is a still image, how this could serve as the basis for a painting, right? Because you can see it's kind of dramatic, the light hitting it and all that, and the, you know, the angle that it's at. And with the camera and with the models, I'm going to be able to chart out the, the way the paintings are going to look, paintings plural. I'll be able to use this model again and again. I, you know, I've been, as I've been building it, I've been kind of thinking like, well, here's an interesting view. I could, and I could, you know, it's big enough that I could get the camera right up into the, out of the deck, you know, you get a sense of, I could paint a scene of people walking the deck and then I wouldn't have to laboriously reconstruct what the deck, the background would look like. I could just photograph it and, and go right to work. And I may, I may. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a short one, but uh, better to have a short one than too many of these long ones, right? Thanks for coming. I'll be doing uh, the painting one again for my next installment. I'll be back to that painting with the frigate in the foreground and in silhouette. But I was rigging the 74 and getting excited, so I thought I'd shoot some video of it. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.